Welcome to another exciting episode of On Enter Flash Basics. This is Worth, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn about symbols, creating them, how to edit them, and a general idea of what they are. And also, I'm going to tell you about the address bar that we will use to navigate through Flash. So, let's get started. First thing I want to do is create a few symbols on stage, and uh, I'm just going to move the hide the timeline so I could just get the stage. I'm going to go to the, my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle. Holding shift keeps the ratio or the proportions uh, the same. So I have a square instead of a rectangle. I'm going to draw an oval and I'm going to change the color. And also I'm going to make one more symbol or item. I'm going to go to the poly star tool which creates a pentagon and I don't want this blue color I'm gonna change it to green why not I'm gonna put these all in order using my align tool now I have my three items that I'm gonna be using as the graphical repre representation of my symbols so how do we create symbols well what you have to do is create an item on the screen and then with your selection tool select it and then go to modify convert to symbol and once you do that it comes up with a foreground window uh, convert to symbol and it gives you these three radio buttons movie clip button graphic this gives you the choice of what type of symbol you want it to be right now I'm gonna create a movie clip so I'm just gonna call it MC press OK and now a blue line is around it and you see a crosshair and a circle so there we go we have this is a movie clip you can move it around and it doesn't look the same as if I pressed on this um, fill here so let's create another symbol by highlighting the oval shape going to modify convert to symbol and I'm gonna turn this symbol into a button You know what? I'm just going to name it BTN. And OK. And I'm going to turn the last shape into a graphic. I'm just going to go G A R G R A. and now we have our three symbols on the stage we have a movie clip we have a button and we have a graphic but if we clicked if we just opened up this project we would have no idea or how to tell the difference between the three and the way we do that is using the properties menu in the properties we have an identifier to tell us exactly what the item we're touching what it is so when we click on the movie clip inside the properties it tells us movie clip if we click on the circle it tells us button because it's a button and if we click on the graphic it tells us button that's because I've made a mistake and I'm gonna tell you how to correct mistakes inside of flash so right now I'm just gonna lasso all these items and delete them now that I've deleted them how do I get them back I, they're gone forever no they're not they're inside of the library and if you look inside the library you have all the items that you have created and you have a graphical preview of the item so right now you can see the type over here that I have button which is button graphic which is button and movie clip which is movie clip so what how can I change these I'm gonna right click and when I right click I can change the type and the type I want to change it to is graphic you can change it to any type that you so desire for whatever mistake that you've made so now you know how to correct those mistakes let's get into editing these items and duplicating these items if I wanted to duplicate them I just I can simply get the name click on the name and drag them out the stage or click on the graphical preview and drag and drag it out to the stage so now you know how to duplicate how do you edit an item any of these items how do you edit them when you touch them they just become these blue things and if you go to say a fill it doesn't change the fill color so how do I how do I edit it the way you do that is you double click on the item and once you double click on the item 
you can see in your address bar up here it changes where you have the name of the item so it's MC and C, they have seen one in MC so you know you're inside of MC and when I touch the item now you can see that I selected it and I can change the color of it and as I change the color inside of here it also changes inside my library so this change is to all of the MCs that are on the stage. So if I put a, a whole bunch of MCs on the on the stage and I want to change them all, I can click on one, go into it and change the color. And they all change color because they're all the same essentially. Now we know how to edit things, we know how to look at the address bar. The address bar is very important because when you get into complex movies, you're going to have movies within movies within movies. And that's very important to know where you are. So we know create buttons, graphics, and movie clips. There is also one more way how to create movie clips, graphics, and buttons. And the way we do that is we go to insert. In insert, you have new symbol. And when we click on that, we have a foreground window that comes up. And it's pretty much the same as convert to symbol, but the only difference is you don't have a registration point. So in this, you give it a name. I'm going to call it MC2 and you choose what type you want your symbol to be press OK but now the big huge difference is that you come to this white screen with a crosshair in the middle the crosshair represents the registration point so what do you do inside of this area well you create the movie clip that you so desire or button you so desire so go over to your item and draw something that you want. And how do you get out of here? Well, you can use your address bar to go back to scene one or just pressing this button, which represents essentially a back button. So where how do I get that movie clip I just created using the insert method? I can go inside my library and there it is, MC2. And I can drag it out. And that's how you make symbols and flash. In the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you more advanced ways to edit movie clips, graphics, and buttons. But for now this is good enough to know exactly how to create them, how to duplicate them, how to edit them. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash. To show your support, subscribe, rate, and comment on my video. Also visit my website on enterflash.blogspot.com and whilst you're on my website, don't be afraid to click on some ads. Put a few pennies in my pocket.